There's so many, I can't even begin to list how many there are, but when I think about what it is that really comes down to a KPI, it's what that connection has happened across self-service. Where is that self-service occurring and how many people are you able to put through that self-service tunnel or funnel that can make sure that they took the time to come in and get the answers? Did you help them? And so through our implementations, we're really looking to see as we implemented, did we make sure that that customer is getting the support that they need? And then if they fail, do they have a way out? And that means getting to that customer contact channel and getting the right person. Really what we look at is the unique click through. How many people are actually clicking on something within an email and engaging? So we look really closely at that unique click through rate. We also look really closely within our webinars. How long are they staying with us? Are they just logging on for that first 10 minute high level thought leadership part? Or are they staying with us through the Q&A? It's a blend of things. It's how often are they contacting our call centers? Uh, what are they leaving us for comments? They're often writing us letters personally kind of to us. So our customers are very loyal and we're, we're proud of that. It's easier for us to measure our success now that we're in the cloud because we have consistent metrics and we have a consistent way to measure everybody. We have more real-time access to that information because it's, it's readily available. We're not waiting for that uh, call to be completed or that service to be completed. And the KPIs that we are really looking at um, are our customer effort score. It's, it's really our, our, one, our one main metric. In the past, we're not talking about customer experience. It's all about customer service. Um, I would still think that it's all about being able to gauge how much effort they've really spent when they're interacting with you or when they're making the request. So KPIs are one thing, and we do look at quality scores, and we look at average handle time, and, and all of the, the traditional ones. But truly, the way that we understand our customer experience is that we use Net Promoter Score as our customer experience metric. What we do is measure our own progress against ourselves and our history of that. So even if someone wants to talk about customer effort score, that's great. I can tell based on our net promoter scores going up and down whether we've decreased or increased the effort that our customers go through. I think it's what we live for, it's revenue, because if you think you have flawless customer experience that's not generating revenue, it's really not that flawless at all. But when we talk to revenue, we should really uh, think about it from the perspective of recurring revenue from existing customers and new customer revenue. Because if you are losing customers at the same speed that you're gaining customers, then something is wrong with your customer experience, even if the revenue isn't dropping. So when you look at your existing customers and their retention rates and their desire to come back for more of your products and services, that's a good indicator. I think the first part is really around customer satisfaction and NPS scores. Those give us a sort of a basis line for us to really focus and understand where we're at. But there's a lot of other digital imprints that we can see, whether that's focused on engagement, focused on improved quality of scoring that we get from the scoring through Eloqua or one of the products that we use. And then also from the back end is really around the retention of our customers. So it's important for us to make sure that our customers are happy utilizing our services and then are retained as customers. Thank you.